I'm here with the one and only Mr. Ghana Baby. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Just so, like that. you know, I never thought he would respond to me, and now no, I, we are here. Like I said, I wanted to compensate the people of Cameroon. <laughs> you know, like he said, I'm from Cameroon, but I live in America, and I'm like, oh, I need to say, I need to reply. <laughs> I need to reply. Because I'm time. sure you get all kind of messages. Honestly, I didn't think you're gonna respond, man. I really I think, didn't. I think what happened was the phone was in my hand. Yeah. At that moment. Yeah. And then the message came in. That's how I responded. Wow, I was lucky. Yeah, I was like, okay. He wow. said he's coming to Ghana this weekend. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking to your camera guy before. Steven? Yeah. Oh wow. He told me he's gonna talk to you. Okay. But then he disappeared on me. I don't know what happened. So I'm like, you know what? Then my friend Philly Dom, you know Philly Dom? Philly Dom. Philly, if you don't, I'm gonna show you. Here. No, I know you mean the comment section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philly Dom, he's uh, currently in Brazil. He's been there for oh, like six months. I, I think I know him. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna be in Brazil next weekend. Next weekend? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to Jamaica. Wait, I'm putting all my plans on camera now. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. I'm going to Jamaica. Okay. But uh, my crew doesn't have a. American visa, but I got the visa. Okay. So I went to go with my crew. So we have to, the airline that we got has to go through Brazil okay. before we get to uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. So we're going to spend like uh, two weeks in Brazil yeah. because we don't, we can't just pass through Brazil. Oh, yeah, yeah. We you have, have to, to. You have come to. Because I was doing research about the Yoruba, you know, Nigeria? Yes. Yoruba people? Yeah. There's more, a lot of them. More than half of them yeah. live in Brazil. No, there's a lot of them, man. So there's a, there's a whole. This is like, uh, I'm sorry, it's everything is stuck. No, I man, you, you yeah. know, so, so yeah. if you don't, yeah. if you don't know, what if I has a house? <laughs> I didn't even know he has an apartment too. <laughs> so he also you know, has an apartment. You know, like, I, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. I would have given you one of my apartment. That's I have another apartment on the other side. Yeah. For you to stay. I but, mean, but at least you are staying in Signature, which is for my friend, which is thank yeah. you for supporting oh, me. Oh yeah, there. I didn't know you. you I have to say, you don't advertise your business, man. I didn't no, know you were I, I, I do low key, bro. <laughs> but how are you supposed to make money if you do low key, bro? Uh, you see, as a YouTuber, I don't. People think they know you too much, you know? Mm. But I always love to pull my side, you know, off camera. Off camera you know? a little bit. But when you talk to me online, I can show you that, oh, this is for me, this belongs to me, Makes and sense. all of that. Makes sense. But I don't like to showcase too much, too much of what I own, man. Yeah, it's yeah. just YouTube is YouTube. Of course. But when it comes to business, I run my own. I can take you around today if you want okay, to. Okay, okay. Let's do I, that. Like I have some, all right. um, even a whole apartment like this that we build in yeah. Accra here. Nice. I can show you. I think I need to, let me. My wife took the car away. I could have dropped yeah, you around. Let, but let's do that. Yeah. Now nah, let me show. Let me show you around Ghana a bit. I don't have time, but I'm gonna do this for you. I appreciate that. Man. <laughs> I appreciate that. But this, this yeah. guy's a good guy, man. You, yeah, you yeah. I mean, he, he with, with 400 cities, you can't go wrong. That's that's, that's that's so affordable. Yeah. Trust me on that. Yeah. So affordable, man. Take care of him, man. So that when he goes, he tell people that Ghanaians are nice people. <laughs> So how come you haven't been to Cameroon yet? What's your What's your reason? See, you go everywhere. You see, language barrier has been one of my biggest problems. They speak English. They speak English. That's what I know. But I, I'm also keeping the best for the last. Okay. You know, when I started, I didn't have experience. But as time goes on, now like, is even when I went to Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. I think I have more experience than yeah. when I started. So yeah. Cameroonians, wait for me. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, Cameroon and uh, Ivorians have some kind of beef. Kind yes. Of, it's like Ghana and Nigeria. Yes. Yeah, but you guys should chill, man. I'm coming very soon. All right, all right. I'm very soon. So yeah, and I have to say this, guys. As a as a small YouTuber, one of my biggest challenges is to meet the big YouTubers like this. No. And no, no, seriously. Like you have people with like, and I'm not gonna say any names. I've reached out to some people with like a hundred thousand subs, two hundred thousand subs, and they just ignore me. It's like, well, what am I gonna get from this guy? I have what eleven thousand subscribers as we speak right now. Eleven thousand is a lot. I need to check out your channel. Yeah, eleven thousand is a lot. Listen, I always tell people it's not about the numbers. Yeah, it's about the value both of you can create together. Yeah, even if you say I am a big YouTuber. Yeah, if I collab with you, I'm also benefiting as a big YouTuber because. You have a family member. You yeah. say, oh, I collaborated with one of my... Yeah. Even if it's two people, one people, it's art right. I, I used to collab with every creator. But at some point, YouTubers love drama so much. They do. <laughs> I, like, and I can't stand that, and, and, bro, I don't have the heart for it. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? 
everybody should stay wherever they want to stay and yeah. I stay wherever I want to stay. That's yeah. how I stop collaborating with YouTubers. Like I used to, when I travel, yeah. all I'm looking for is YouTubers. Yeah. I don't care if you have one subscriber, two subscribers, yeah. I'm willing to crash with you. Yeah. But then when you leave, they start drama. You have done this, you have done that. I'm like, it, no. You don't need that for you. I don't need that. I don't get it. I don't, I don't need it. It's yeah. like, I just came for the value we can bring to the audience. Yeah. I don't have time for what am I has done this, what am I. That's why I actually stop creating content with, with people. With people. Just go to a location, create my entrepreneurship series, get the views, and get out. Is it harder for you now to trust people then because of YouTube? Bro, I've been stopped at the back. Yeah. By YouTubers, yeah, close friends and all of that, and it's so hard. But yes. let me tell you something: you learn a lesson along the journey. Yes, yeah, because for me, I have a heart of like the way I responded to you. I don't know you anywhere, right. but first of all, reason why I responded: you're Cameroonian, you're an African, yeah, you're coming to Ghana, yeah, and I have to embrace no, thank a you brother. So much. If I have, and one of the things I said, oh, and I saw your last message is like I'm a YouTuber, and I'm yeah. like, okay, you just come and. Especially the women yes. have so much drama, so much drama. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just link up with you. I mean, you are not here for longer days. Yeah. If I can spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes with yeah. your brother, yeah. at least when I come to the US, I can call you and say, hey, of course, I'm around. You already you know. know. You already know. It is what it is. We just have to love one another as yeah. Africans and avoid drama, man. And people think numbers is everything. Like I have a million subscribers, and yeah. so what? Yeah. Numbers don't count. Yeah. For me, it's the value. Yeah. So Ivan, what value does Ivan brings on the table? Yeah. That's what I'm interested in. No, that's really kind of you, man. That's it. Yeah. So I, I, I love to create with everybody, but bro, stay out of drama, man. Oh yeah, no, like, that's true. You, the YouTubers. Yeah, because a lot of drama, and, man. and you know, I, I, I'm not gonna mention what happened, but some of you guys, you know, may know, like you know, there's these um videos that are being created and, and people are making stories up all the hey, time. Hey, isn't this you guy is popular, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, hey. I, are you popular? Like, no, I, I, I wish I, wish I wasn't. Your channel. <laughs> hey. no way, I, no. wish, I wish I wasn't for that, you know? No, 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 but no, no. regardless. Check out <laughs> See, I, I'm so sorry I didn't do research about you, but I know you're an African YouTuber yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm okay, but if people are talking about you, he's a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I'll check it. I'll check yeah, it. Yeah, check channel. it. And we're gonna talk yeah. about some of that off the camera. Thank yeah. you. Whatever. No, 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 it's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. But honestly, like you know, mm. people, you said a million is nothing, yeah. but still, a million is represents your work. Yeah, your consistent work for years. Exactly. So it also means something. Yeah. And sometimes people feel like, you know, I did my job. I put in my time. You put in your time. Exactly. You do your time. Exactly. I'm not gonna help you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because exactly. like. When it comes number wise, you get nothing meeting me. Yeah. It's just pure kindness. And exactly. I wanna say thank you because I'm telling you, a lot of YouTubers, man, it's not easy as a small channel for people to give you time, inviting you know for your crib like you're doing, man. That's I'm I swear to you, man, people are not like like that generally. I never even thought we were gonna meet. When you responded to me, I was just like, what the I thought, okay, maybe that's only your assistant. No, no, no. Did you give me your number? Me. I'm yeah, like it was me. What? Me. <laughs> like I said, for me, I don't care about numbers. Yeah. Care about a brother, the value we can create together. Yeah. How many lives can we touch with the video? Yeah. And that's it. And listen, I was so inspired knowing that an African is choosing another African country. That's one of the reasons yeah. why I wanted to talk to you. Like, yeah. okay, I mean, Africans travel within Africa. That's yeah. that's that's the reason. One of the reasons why I even wanted to meet you. Yeah. You know, so. It's not about you having 11,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. even if you have one subscriber, mm -hmm. if I had the time, I would definitely meet up with you. Yeah. And I just want you to know that this is what I'm Maya. It's just work made me so busy. Um, the work has so much demand. That's why sometimes even people come to Ghana, I don't get a chance to meet them. Yeah. But I've taken one month off to take care of myself. The videos that you've seen on the internet yeah. are like videos that we filmed two months ago. Of course. So I have time. time. Yes. I have time for myself. Good. Like, it's important. I just woke up, went to the gym, came back, yeah. and I'm here to meet you from, I have to meet another person yeah. around three o'clock. I'm just spending my whole time meeting people. People, okay. This time because I'm free now. Of course. But I, I, I appreciate you for choosing Ghana as a destination. Of course, man. The and first 
uh, independent country yep. in the sub-Saharan yep. Africa. So yep. I have to start over here. Yep. Yep. You know? And you're going to love Ivory Coast, man. I'm going to introduce my very good friend yeah. in Ivory Coast for you. Perfect. He's going to take you around. He's amazing. He's also a YouTuber. He can introduce you to the Francophone audience. Right you know, on. Like, build a network. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the most important thing. All right. You don't have to break, uh, what do you call it? What are break bridges like mm -hmm. break down Burn bridges bend bridges thank you like I build a network now I know I have a friend called um, Ivan yes if you go to Cote d'Ivoire I'm gonna connect you with my friend yeah and then you build your network yes as it goes so yes. me that's all I do but okay. at some point you try to build network with people yeah especially YouTubers I cut everyone off right now yeah they tend to bend bridges and thinking that. Creating drama online is the best way to. No, I disagree with that. And that's why no respond to those stuff. Uh, yeah. Don't like, yeah. I see, bro. I wake up today. They said I've done this. Yeah. I wake up tomorrow. They say I've done it, and I have no idea. Yeah. Like they just wake up, cook something, create something, and then you see them destroying your name. Like I've been threatened. People threatened to kill me. Yeah. And wow. Yeah. That's the nasty bro, part was, of YouTube. Bro, it was terrible. Like it, it was coming from Kenya. You know, I married a Kenyan. Yeah. And you you wake up in the morning, and the the, the country that you married from, people from that country want to kill you. They are threatening you. In vicious words, right? They don't come to. And yeah. you know, they are saying this just because of what a YouTuber said. Yeah. Or what a YouTuber. And they don't did. even know. And they don't even know. They anything. don't know behind the scene. They no, don't know what happened. Nothing. They don't know the truth. They don't know. They, they nothing. Just, you know, people are so blind when it comes to people that they follow. Because I always tell people I'm not perfect. Yeah. When I started making YouTube videos, let me tell you what made me who I am today and listen to my audience so when I started bro, I used to love women like I don't know how to explain to you I go to every country I'm like ah, I want to marry from here I want to yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to have a girlfriend from here yeah then I was saying that on camera every day you go and check my old videos I, I even used to say that I want to marry 54 wives <laughs> <laughs> I want to marry oh, me because every country that I go to I it was so hard to take your eyes off the women yeah then my audience started emailing me be careful what you said today might come back for you in future Damn. bro or whatever you do today you might think you are having fun but tomorrow when Amaya becomes big guy now people go back to what you did five years ago yeah and I sat down and I checked the email and I'm like this is deep bro I started like going back picking picking my own words you know yeah. picking it back so i don't joke with my youtube audience i ask you if i offend you if you think i said something wrong don't write it in the comment section yeah go to my email so i have an email that i just go just to read advices from my audience yeah so i appreciate my audience so much they make me who i am today i can take you around to show you what i own off camera but on camera no one knows of course do you understand yeah. and i didn't get this knowledge from anywhere i got it from my youtube audience mm. so as a creator someone who is just starting eleven thousand, you're still like trying to figure your way mm -hmm. communicate with your audience mm -hmm. listen to them mm -hmm. let them advise you yes the, the, the content that i do now it's not my idea yeah it's for my audience yes so now i'll tell you this you have eleven thousand. Mm -hmm. I'll say you don't have like core real audience. Yes. Now you yeah. don't have. Yeah. The core audience is when you have you start having like 30k, 30,000 subscribers. Yeah. This 30,000 subscribers will come just because of the kind of content that you create. You're creating. Yeah. Right? Now, they would determine or they would they will let you know the kind of content that they want to see. Want to see. Yeah. And you will find out that based on the content that you did that got you a lot of traction. You're yeah. like, oh my goodness, so these people want this. I'm not a big fan of interviewing people. I'm, yeah, you don't do interviews I, much. I, I, don't, I don't, when I started my channel, yeah. there was nothing like interviewing businessmen and all yeah. of that. But COVID, I couldn't travel. Yeah. Then I interviewed one woman. Then when I woke up, the video was everywhere. I'm like, oh my goodness, is this the new niche for me? And I created a new niche all together. Now you see a lot of people Interviews. replicating yes. uh, my this is this is my idea. Yeah. He left America to do this in Africa. He's building this and this. And let me tell you what that thing did to me. Changed my whole life. Mm. 
2020, I didn't have this. Yeah. 2020, I didn't have where we are right now. Yeah. 2020, I didn't have my own house to live in. I was staying with my mom. <laughs> 2020, the people that I know now, I didn't know that. So, my audience said they love this kind of content. Yeah. And I had to go with the flow. Yeah. And now, here we are. The rest is history. history. Yeah. So, I'm just going to tell you, Ivan, you're in Ghana, go all out. I don't know the kind of content you create, but I'm definitely gonna check it out. Yeah. Um, and also gonna share the videos for you. Thank you. But you go all out. Ghana is a free country. Thank you. You have him. He's gonna yeah. definitely show My main, around. my main thing. I want to show people things that because mm. in the U.S., a mm. lot of people don't take advantage of the passport mm. that they have. Okay. They don't travel as much okay. as they should. Mm. I think close to half the population doesn't mm. have passports. Mm. So I want to show people that hey, look. Go and see this. Yeah. There's a lot more to the fantastic, world, to life than that. Fantastic. Africa is not, like some people told me, it's a jungle. And I'm at the mall today, and I still want to film the mall, the police is like, you can't film here. I, I'm I, like, you I, see, I, I, then I people going to say, then people going to say Africa is a jungle. You saw my post, eh? <laughs> I was so mad. You <laughs> see, you, 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 you travel abroad. I was in Europe for a meeting. I vlogged from the airport to... I go to my room. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah. But when you come to Ghana, you go to the mall. They, they have a problem. You, don't don't film. But at least, <laughs> for me, these days they come for selfies, so it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah no, <laughs> these true. days, I mean, those days I used to struggle, but now when they see me with my camera, they will come and say, "Hey, Maya, let's take a selfie." Because so they I, know who you I, are. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. they don't bother me these days. Yeah. Because at me, I will speak out. I, yeah. I don't care. Like, yeah. I, I will do what I have to do and get out. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Most people will not get a chance to meet you. Yeah. So let me ask you this before we stop this part of the video. What advice do you have yeah. to someone who's watching this who wants to become the next Wode Maya? Who wants to be big on YouTube? Who wants to live off YouTube like you did successfully? What is the one thing that you want to say to them? Be you. Be you. Stay okay. true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Stay authentic. Mm -hmm. The YouTube space is big. But what makes you different from others is you being you mm. and stay consistent on it. Mm -hmm. It's one of the hardest things on being on YouTube is staying consistent. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. But just be you, stay consistent on it. Like, just like um, Ivan right here, he wants to show you that your passport that you have is essential, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be him going out, traveling just to inspire you. but he has to stay consistent on the travels right that's all that's it right on that's it there's all no right. secret anyway all right just be yourself all right yeah I appreciate that man <laughs> thank you thank I'll, you let me, let, me, let me take you around today all right me... we're gonna go on part two of this journey now so now we're gonna talk about the internet security and as you know it wasn't long ago that Wodemeyer got hacked so I'm here now and I want to know exactly what the heck happened uh oh, busy guy. <laughs> Want to know what the heck happened? This man has a lot of experience, so he got hacked. So you can get hacked. So let's find out. Wode, man, thank you for allowing me again you know, in your home today. Yeah. So what the heck happened on that day, bro? Bro, anyone can be hacked. I've seen channels with millions of subscribers being hacked. It's a new thing that is happening on YouTube, but it happened to me when I went to Europe. Yeah. So I went for a conference, which was all about security. And I interviewed the former president of Ghana mm -hmm. at a conference. And then I logged in my details. Yeah. Because the event was supposed to be streamed live. Yeah. It's not a pre recorded video. Yeah. Right. So I did that. And then when I finished, I logged out. But now your information can be taken. Because I'd never logged in on my own PC. Oh, you weren't you were not using your own computer. I was not using my own computer. I was I, okay. I used another machine because you have to use another machine to stream because the cameras are not connected to my PC. Yeah, it's connected to them. Yeah, right. So I don't know if some of you watched the video. Listen, when my channel got hacked, my phone blew up. When I finished, then I saw like a lot of stuff are happening on my account, but I didn't really take it serious. Mm -hmm. Then, when I was leaving, because I spent like only three days in Europe, when I was leaving, I was supposed to call my mom. My mom was calling me all the time, but I don't have a 
what do you call it, internet. So mm-hmm. she was calling directly. And if I pick, all her money will go off. Mm-hmm. So I connected to the airport Wi Fi. Yeah. Which worsened everything. And that's when I, I found out I was in trouble. So wow. I want to tell every YouTuber don't log in your account on any machine that you know that doesn't belong to you. Two, don't connect to public Wi Fi. Because they can hack you. I mean, when you connect to public Wi Fi, because as soon wow. as you log, log in public Wi Fi, your whole information can go on that Wi Fi. And then they can, because um, when YouTube was retrieving the account back mm-hmm. and they found that the account was actually hacked in Europe. Oh. So it's out of two places why I logged in my laptop. My, my my YouTube account for them to stream the interview yeah. or the airport. Do you understand? Yeah. So these two places, but it was in Europe, but you can't find the exact location, location. that was hard. But then, you know, travel YouTubers, right. we go out in different countries. Yep. Yep. So how do you manage yep. to work yep. when you're on the road? So most important thing is like buy a SIM card. Oh. Buy a SIM card connect your sim card to your phone or to your laptop if you're lucky you can use the laptop when you rent an apartment yeah which you can believe that it's safe for you yeah but for me now i've learned a lesson like <laughs> those days when i travel as soon as i get to the airport i connect yeah these days i just put my phone down yeah until i land to my final destination before i start using my internet yeah because anything can happen but there's a there's a way um, you guys should buy um, the social, it's called Google Security Key. Yeah. It's online. Yeah. Google Security Key. Go buy it and um, connect it to your, your laptop and then use your fingerprint for it and you're good to go. It won't happen to you. So uh-huh. it's something that uh, YouTube brought. So when my account got hacked, and that's when YouTube told me to get that and use it. Google Security Key. Google Security Key. So okay. if any YouTuber is watching, it can happen to you because especially travel content creators you go anywhere you mm-hmm. need to connect it to internet yeah. but get yourself the google security key i wish uh, i'm not in the house right now i'll yeah. just um show you how it looks like but wait wait a minute okay i'm just giving a minute I, I all right think sounds I, good I just... so that's a very important tip man because you know you have some digital nomads you know and content creators who just go from hotels to hotels so i really wanted to talk about this because getting hacked it's like a creator's nightmare i mean anybody that uses computers as you know it is the worst thing you can sometimes they don't retrieve accounts you know he was lucky that they got <laughs> that account back and running but i'm not sure if it was someone like me a smaller channel that the, the, the account wouldn't necessarily been back you know it happens also with instagram accounts i know at least a couple of friends who got the account uh, you know hacked facebook all these different things it's less important but youtube is actually money so it's I terrible. I had it here. I yeah. I, I didn't find it. So. so it's not something you download. It's something you actually No, no, no. no. You buy. Yeah. You buy. Yeah. Okay. You buy. So I, I bought I bought one. Yeah. And I bought one for my wife and then uh, for her to also protect her account and all of that. So I think if you're living in America, that's one of the things. I actually bought it from America. Yeah. You can't buy it in Africa. Yeah, yeah. So I bought it from America and they brought it here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Nice. Another thing, yeah. which is more like a curiosity item mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Many full-time YouTube, YouTubers struggle maintaining a serious relationship. But you, you're not just in a relationship. You're married. Yep. So I don't know, except you, maybe Mark Veens, you yeah. know the guy who eats. Mark Veens, yeah. Mark Veens, yeah. And uh, I can't think of anybody else. Maybe there's somebody else. Jubinski just got married. Jubinski just got married. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Besides, besides those bulldozers that you guys are, I don't know anybody else who's successful. Yeah. I'm talking just dating seriously yeah, and, know, and, and, and doing content. It's hard. It's it's really hard, but it takes self discipline. You know, like when you, especially travel content creator, you yeah. travel, man. You see, you see this woman, you be like, ah. You can't, you, you cannot let this one go, man. <laughs> you know, but I, 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 as a travel, co- you know, like I told you, like I used to say that I want to marry 54 wives. Like, you, you, you just feel like, nah, this woman cannot sleep. Yeah. But then you think about, nah, you got a wife at home or you have um, someone. So for me, I think I can give advice to, as a married man, <laughs> as a married man, let me give you advice, man. Talk to your partner 
let it understand the kind of job that you do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, know that some of these girls want you because of who you are. Mm -hmm. But ask yourself, the person who has accepted to be with you, does she loves you for who you are or she loves you because of the numbers that you have? Mm. And this is where we go wrong. Mm -hmm. So we leave the person who loves us for who we are thinking that this girl loves us for who we are. But at the end of the day, because you are with Maya, because you are Ivan, because of your this and that, that's mm -hmm. why they are closer. You know, I've seen, you know, it's so even so fucked up for a YouTuber, like a girl likes you, and then you buy a plane ticket for the girl to come and see you. Mm -hmm. It's it's one of the fucked up shit that I'm sorry for using the F word, <laughs> but I, 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 I've seen content creators doing that, yeah. and I'm like, no. That's the first red flag. Yeah. That she's coming just because of what you have yeah, yeah, yeah. or your numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. not because she loves you. If that's the case, then why not you fly, go there, at least you are enjoying the trip. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you get what I mean? Absolutely. So I, I see because I, I, I let me call my brother out. AC Live. <laughs> I, I, I don't think AC Live will ever get married, man. Because that yeah, guy is living his best life. Oh no, he's having a great time. Ah uh ah, -uh. dude, <laughs> change your ways, man. <laughs> Yo, like I, I, I look at him and I'm like, my bro, will he ever get married? Because like he found himself in Colombia. And then he'll be there, and the, the girls are all over him. And oh, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm living my best it's life. life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living my best life. He, he, he's an amazing dude, but I, I'm just saying that, hey, you gotta, you gotta, you know, sometimes you have to stay away from all these things and settle, man. But you, have, you, have you been to South America yet? I've never been to South America. I've, I've seen videos from South America. So you know that's a place where a lot of black men in particular get I, in I, trouble. I, I, oh. Are you sure what the mind is ready for South America, See, man? See, I'm, I'm more than ready for, like I can, believe me, you are in Ghana now. Right. Believe me, you can have South America in Ghana. I believe that. That's if true. you want. That's true. That's true. You can have South America experience in any country in Africa. Let's take it for a South America. I, I'm just what I've seen. If you have the money to spend, you can have any girl around. Plenty of them, fresh girls and all of that yeah. around you. Yeah. Fact or no? Yeah. No, I, am true. I right? It's true. You can do the same thing here. They're beautiful too. Exactly. Nice curves, everything. They have all the shapes. Yeah. You can you can do that yeah. in, in South Africa, anywhere in Africa. Yeah. If you have the money, you know where we are right now. This place, yeah, it's called the Pond Hub of Ghana. Uh, really? This place that I'm staying. Why? Like, it, I don't know how to explain to you. It's it's where, if it's Friday night, Saturday night, you see all kinds of women. Maybe I need to invite you here one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to, I need to invite you here. Wow. And then, then you, 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 you can see what really goes on here. 